Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Abby Layton and I am a professional graphic and brand designer. In this video, I thought it would be fun to head into Whole Foods and look through the aisles and find some unique packaging designs that catch my eye and then try out the products. In 2023, we're in a landscape full of innovative products in the, both the grocery stores and on Amazon that are all trying to stand out. So it's interesting to go into the aisles of the actual grocery store and see which brands actually do stick out based off of their graphic design. How does their use of color or packaging draw your eye in? And how does their product stand out amongst the other competitors on the shelf? So in this video, we will be going to Whole Foods and walking through the aisles and seeing what we can find. Let's go. All right, so heading into Whole Foods and starting our adventure, we started in the pasta aisle. And there's honestly a couple of cool brands. This Goodles package really stuck out to me because it was hot pink and everything else in the aisle was kind of like white and neutral. So I also found them in the mac and cheese aisle, which sounded a little bit more exciting to try. I really loved the Chetty Mac package. It's bright blue and orange and it just really stuck out to me. So I grabbed that box. And then right next to that aisle was the ramen area, and immediately I saw this really unique Omsum brand, which I've never heard of, but their packaging was awesome. Like, the logo type really jumped out at me, and the whole box was beautiful. So I picked that up. I also found this Japanese hot sauce, which was really pretty, but it was also really expensive, so I didn't get that. Um, then we were in the, like, the sauces and condiments area, and I found this interesting ketchup that is kind of like a gut friendly ketchup and I just really liked the pink design. You don't really see that in the ketchup aisle, so. Then we headed into the cereal aisle and I found this really cool Lovebird brand that felt really minimal, but I didn't pick it up because it was a little bit too expensive. But other than that, we couldn't really find that much that really jumped out to me in terms of packaging design. And it was honestly just really cool to walk around the grocery store and kind of view all the different products through the lens of a designer. It really kind of makes you in tune to the actual packaging design and how different brands are kind of jumping out. Towards the end of our journey, we found a couple of nicely packaged drinks. So I picked up a couple cans that really jumped out to me on the shelf. All right, so we just got back from Whole Foods and this is the little haul. All right, so the first thing I got was this Omsum spicy noodle. It's like an instant ramen kind of competitor. I really loved the packaging design because of the black letter typography and the bold color choices. The back of it is super well designed and laid out. And I just loved the color choices as well as the black letter typography choice. The next thing I got is the Goodles Chetty Mac Mac and Cheese. The bright turquoise packaging and fun, bold typography really stood out to me. This is supposed to be a healthier alternative to the box craft mac and cheese. The next thing I got was this California ketchup. The unique vessel choice and the bright pink label really set it apart from the other ketchups on the shelf. And this is like a prebiotic, gut healthy kind of health alternative to normal ketchup. This is a really great choice for an artisanal ketchup with the warm colors and simple typography. Next up we have the Graza Cooking Olive Oil. I really love this label design with the really cute illustration and custom typography as well as the bright green cap and matching bright green label. This is super different from all the other olive oils on the shelf. It has this awesome section on how to use it and I just really loved everything about this design. They're super transparent about where the olive oil comes from and it comes in this awesome squeezable bottle. Overall, I love the unique mix of design styles they chose. In the drink department, I chose this Culture Pop Soda. I love the hot pink color and the contrasting typography, as well as the unique watermelon illustration. I love the list of adjectives they added on the side, as well as the color scheme. And the last product I got was this Mina or Mina uh, Sparkling Tea. I really love the color and the bold graphic of the flower and the typography elements and how that all sits in together. They really merged all of these elements really nicely while still keeping it minimal. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna try are the Omsum Spicy Noodles. They come with this really cute branded sauce packaging and it works just like any other instant noodle. You boil it in water for a couple minutes and then you add the sauce packet. 
and this is what it looks like when it's fully cooked with the sauce added into the noodles. So the flavor of these noodles are pretty good. I would say compared to other instant ramen noodles that I've had, um, this has a very nice flavor. Um, it may just be me being a wimp, but I think it's kind of spicy, which I know on the box it has like four peppers and it only has like one pepper filled in. So I was expecting it to be a little bit more mild than it actually is. I would consider this like a medium spice dish rather than a mild. But um, other than that, it has really great flavor. For the value, I think, I mean, all these products are a little bit higher priced compared to like their cheap counterparts. Um, but you kind of get like this nice branded experience with it. You get that nice sauce packet. You also are supporting small business um, rather than like a big brand name that is owned by the same company. So I do like that aspect of it. Um, I would definitely buy it again. Um, it's a little bit spicier than I was anticipating, but um, with all that being said, I think it has a great flavor and I would definitely recommend it. Next up on our list is the Minna Sparkling Tea that is lime hibiscus flavored. It's definitely, it's, it's good. It just is very, the flavor is very light. It doesn't have a strong flavor whatsoever. So I'd say it's a very lightly tasting flavor. It's supposed to be a Rubio's tea and it's unsweetened um, and it's lime hibiscus flavor. I can taste the hibiscus, but, and the lime slightly, but I feel like it's very subtle. It's not very strong. Yeah, it is a sparkling tea, which maybe that is why it doesn't taste quite as strong as like a normal tea. It's good, it's not bad by any means. It tastes good, the flavor is great. It's just a very subtle flavor, so I'm not sure if I would get this tea again. But I will be finishing it because I did spend money on it. <laughs> Next up, we have the California ketchup with added saffron and apple cider vinegar by Acid League. I don't have anything to dip this in, so I'm just gonna try it with a spoon. I think this is also good because then I can just get the full flavor of the ketchup without it being masked by something else. Wow, this is super good. It's like a gourmet ketchup. It's very flavorful and it has a lot deeper flavors than like Heinz ketchup. It's meant to be a gourmet ketchup that you can top on your steak or on like a more gourmet meal. And I think that's exactly what this fulfills. It tastes really good. It has the apple cider vinegar in it and it has saffron added in. Um, it has like the added gut health benefits and it tastes delicious. It really does taste like a gourmet high quality ketchup with a lot uh, deeper layers of flavor. So. This is a quite pricey compared to other ketchups. I think this was almost like $6, maybe even a little bit more than $6, I can't remember. But um, yeah, if you have like a special occasion and you wanna have something a little bit fancier than like the Heinz ketchup, then I definitely recommend California Ketchup by Acid League. Next up, we're gonna try the good olds, and this is what it looks like after it's been freshly cooked. So it is the next day and I just cooked up the box of Goodles. Um, it cooks up just like the Kraft mac and cheese would. You just boil water and cook it for like eight to 10 minutes. And this is how it looks. Looks really good. Looks honestly identical to like Kraft mac and cheese and it smells pretty similar. So it doesn't have any like weird funky smells that sometimes like alternative health foods have <laughs> compared to like um, the original, so let's try the good olds. These are honestly really delicious. <laughs> if you like Kraft mac and cheese, which I definitely do, this basically tastes exactly like that does. It has the creamy cheese sauce and it has the same texture. It doesn't have any weird like funky aftertaste or anything like that. Um, the noodles are delicious. I feel like if you put this bowl in front of me and said it was Kraft Mac and Cheese, I would believe you. <laughs> so 
Um, I definitely recommend the good old mac and cheese. All right, so the next thing I have here is the Graza olive oil. I actually ha also have the drizzle olive oil. So they have like two different types. One of them is for cooking, which is called the sizzle. And then one of them is for finishing, which is called the drizzle. So they both are made a little bit differently to kind of maximize the flavor. So on this piece of toast right here, I have um, a squirt of the cooking oil and a squirt of the finishing oil on the other corner. So we're gonna give it a try. This olive oil is so good. It's actually like going to be my olive oil that I keep around my house from here on out because this will be this will be my pantry staple from now on. It is so delicious. Like I've never had another store-bought olive oil that has this much flavor. Back when I was in college actually, I went on a trip to Portugal with my old roommate and uh, we stayed with her grandparents who lived there and they made their own olive oil and wine and they grew their own produce and we had a lot of their homemade Portuguese olive oil and honestly this is like the closest thing that has tasted to that to that olive oil so it is absolutely delicious it is full of fresh flavor it is just really really good and then in terms of the cooking oil I have used this many times cooking and it is the perfect cooking oil. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend it. It has a nice flavor too. Obviously on the toast, the finishing oil tastes better because it just has more flavor because that's what it's meant for and this is more meant for just cooking. But um, yeah, they're very nicely priced. I would say they're very fairly priced. They're about the same price as all the other olive oils that I saw at Whole Foods. And yeah, I highly, highly recommend Graza olive oil. So the last thing on our list is the Culture Pop Probiotic Soda. All right, so last but not least, we are going to be trying the Culture Pop Watermelon Lime Soda. So the flavor is really good, but it's kind of light like the other tea that we tried. This is supposed to be a soda or it's marketed as a soda. So, you know, I feel like sodas have, especially compared to like tea, they have a lot stronger of a flavor sometimes. And I feel like the flavor in this soda is very light. It's watermelon lime flavor and you definitely get both of those flavors in here. And it tastes very good, but it's just very light, kind of like the tea. So I was just kind of anticipating a stronger flavor, actually because it is supposed to be like a soda. I wouldn't really consider this a soda. It's kind of more like a, it's more like an infused sparkling water with like probiotics added into it, if that makes sense. But nonetheless, it does taste very good. Um, it says fizzy and gutsy probiotic soda. I'm guessing it has ingredients that help with your gut health. So obviously it's gonna be a lot healthier than normal soda would be. So it is a great alternative to traditional sodas, but um, yeah, it just kind of has like a light flavor. It's definitely very refreshing though. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? My final thoughts are that a lot of brands these days are trying to come up with a healthy alternative and creative spin to traditional grocery store products. For example, like the Goodles is a healthier, more nutritious alternative to Kraft and the culture pop is a more gut friendly healthy alternative to traditional soda i've been kind of seeing this more and more over the past couple years where uh, new brands are coming on the market that are kind of a healthier alternative to a traditional grocery store product and they um, have a brand design that is a lot more modern a lot of the packaging design trends i've seen include bright color schemes, bold color choices, like having the entire package be one bold bright color. Um, they use bold typography choices and have big typography on the package. And then they also have just like a very minimal design that is very typography heavy, color heavy, 
and they also include like bold graphics or just like a nice photography element and nothing else like it'll just be right on the bold color of the label so i've noticed a lot of brands doing this and i think it's a great way at least for me that brands have st stood out against all the traditional products that are on the shelf that are more uh, busy looking and have like a lot more neutral colors and that they just don't really pop out at you like a lot of these newer brands do now like with any graphic design trend, if too many people catch on to this and everyone starts doing it, then they're all gonna look the same. And then the pendulum might swing in the other direction in order to stand out on the shelf. So it's kind of like a balance, but I really love this packaging and label design trajectory that is kind of trending right now with these bold color schemes and really unique font choices that other brands have not really done. A lot of brands in the past just do very basic serif and sans serif fonts that aren't really that unique and then they'll just include very basic photography as well so i love the creative spins a lot of these brands are doing in order to stand out and separate themselves in such a competitive market and in terms of the quality of these types of brands i mean i haven't really found too many issues with them a lot of them are good like they bring something new to the table which is really awesome um, to see as someone who goes to the grocery store often, obviously, I always walk through the aisles, through the eye of a designer anyway, but it was really cool to do it this time around and actually buy stuff solely based off of the packaging design. So if you like videos like this and would love to see more content from me, be sure to hit the subscribe button and give this a like, and I will see you next time.